Hello, uh, my name is Broderick Umblant, and today I'm going to be talking to you about um, how football has impacted my life and what it means to me. Um, now, to you, football may be, you know, watching a couple of fat guys running around trying to tackle some small guy. Or it could be like these guys sitting here on Sunday watching the Cowboys lose. No offense, the Cowboys are kind of bad. But to me, football is hard work. Football is, it's pain. Football is waking up on Saturday mornings to go watch film instead of being at home with your friends. Football is sitting in a stinky locker room for two hours to watch film, which everyone hates. Football is ice bathing for 30 minutes because you can't walk. Your legs hurt so bad that you don't really feel anything, so you have to go in the ice bath. Now, people say, why do I, why do I like football so much? What does it do for me? It's my life. It's what I'm passionate about. It's something I know. I can tell you almost everything about football, and I can tell you almost everything about this position, that position, this route, that coverage, things like that. <clears throat> now, I played the position of wide receiver. The job of the wide receiver is to catch the ball, no matter what, no excuses. If you don't catch the ball, you don't get to play. That's just how it is. Now, coaches and other people have told me that wide receivers are prima donnas. Me, I am a prima donna. I like to look good. I really don't care. I embrace it. If you tell me I'm a prima donna, I'm going to agree right with you. If you call me a girl, I'm probably going to say, yes, I'm a girl. I'm sorry I like to look good on game days. It's, it's what I do. I'm sorry. Being a wide receiver, you don't have to be tall. You don't have to be fast. You don't have to be the, the best person on the field. To be a wide receiver, you just have to know that I'm going to catch the ball and you aren't. You have to know that I'm going to get open and you aren't going to cover me. That's what you have to have. You have to have a sort of swag about you for being a wide receiver. Now me, I have swag. I don't really care. I have swag. You can't tell me that I don't have swag because you know I have swag. That's, that's just how it is. That's just how it goes. <clears throat> I've learned many lessons playing football throughout my lifetime. Um, lessons that I use today in my life right now. Um, one of the most influential lessons that I've learned is that nobody is perfect. Now, if you've ever seen me play football, you know that I'm hard on myself. I'm my worst critic. Up until two years ago, I think I really found out what no one is perfect meant. When I was a freshman or a sophomore, whenever I would make a mistake, I'd come down hard on myself. I would literally cry or, you know, have a mental breakdown in the game because I hate messing up. I hate doing things wrong. I just, I'm a perfectionist. I have to have things perfect. Now, I know that, you know, everybody says that, you know, everybody makes mistakes and you can't help it, but that's, that's just how I am. I don't like messing up. I hate doing things wrong. If, if I do something wrong, I'm going to do it a thousand more times just to get it right. That's just how I am. <clears throat> Another lesson that I've learned is that hard work will get you anywhere. On June 1st, 2013, uh, my life was truly uh, changed for the better. Um, June 1st was the day that I was, <clears throat> was offered a, a full-ride scholarship from the University of Tulsa. Now, people say that, you know, having a full ride, that's okay, but nobody knows what, you know, it means to me. I've dreamed about this ever since I was a little kid. Everybody says that, oh, Broderick, you know, you're so good, you should go somewhere else. Well, I don't want to go anywhere else. Tulsa's my home. I want to go to Tulsa. Um, on the day of the camp, some of you know Joshua Atkinson, who graduated in 2012 from Oak Ridge. He was there. He helped me through the camp. He told me to do this or do that or cut like this or run this route. And as soon as the camp was over, I went into my head coach's office and we talked. I didn't know what was about to happen. I was about to cry, really. I didn't know what was going to happen. Um, we sat down. We talked for a few minutes. And at the end, he asked me how many offers I had. I said, zero. He goes, no, I think you're missing one. As soon as he said that, I freaked out. I cried. I left his office. I called my grandma. 
which she's sitting there in the audience. And I told her, I go, um, I have an offer. She goes, are you serious? I go, yeah. She goes, are you serious? I'm like, yes. So I call her and she's in the middle of the mall crying. Why? Because I just got an offer. She had to have a lady help her get out the mall because, oh, I'm sorry. Because she was crying so bad. She didn't know what to do. She, was, she thought I was joking and I wasn't joking. I got an offer from the University of Tulsa. The best thing that could ever happen in my life. All my hard work and preparation that went into that day had paid off. <clears throat> the last lesson that I've learned is how to work with people that I talk to on a daily basis and some people that I don't talk to on a daily basis. Um, when you have a team full of 14 to 18 year old guys, there are gonna be some people who don't necessarily like each other. There are gonna be fights. There are gonna be words exchanged. And as a team, you have to learn to grow to get around that and you have to learn to grow for the better of the team. Now, as you can see, this team, you know, we, we won the SBC championship in 2011. Now, we didn't all like each other. We didn't all talk to each other. We didn't all really call each other best friends, which we weren't. But we knew how to get around that and make sure we, kn we knew how to play for each other. We had each other's backs. On the football field, off the football field, we were teams. We were a team. We were, we were a brotherhood. That's how it is. Again, why do I love football so much? Because it's my dream. It's my life. When I got my first helmet when I was five years old, I took it home and I put it on my head and I slept with it for three hours. My grandma had to come in and take it off me and she thought something was wrong with me. No, there was nothing wrong with me. I just love football. It's, it's, it makes me happy. Whenever, whenever I'm in a bad mood, I think about football. I think about running a route, catching a ball. I think about playing Madden and beating Tyler again because he always gets mad. I love it. It's just something that makes me happy and something that I enjoy. Now, I can't tell you what my future holds. I can't tell you where I'm going to be four years, four years from now. I can't tell you if I'm going to go to the NFL or if I'm going to be the best receiver in college football. I, I really can't tell you all that. But what I can tell you is that I'm going to work hard every single day and see where it leads me. Thank you.